We're going to start out with a father-daughter duo who are doing the most, and here's why. Here's what they're doing. So their names are Morgan and Gary, and they are firefighters at, in their town in Pennsylvania. Now, Morgan is only 15 years old, so she is a junior firefighter, but she's taking firefighting safety and classes right now, and she comes oh, from wow. a long lineage of firefighters. So her uncle is a firefighter. Nice. Her mother is a firefighter. Her dad is actually assistant chief. She has an older sister who's 18 who's getting ready for college, but also has been interested in fire firefighting and this is really cool because she said you know she is encouraging other young women other girls to get out and volunteer in their community now she's an essential frontline worker obviously and like so many other members of her family have been uh, but she just wants to uh, be a role model she says and encourage others to do something Aww. for their community now to put this into perspective um, the Philadelphia Inquirer was said in this article um, was quoted in the 1970s as there were more than 300,000 volunteer firefighters in that area but now today there are only about 38,000 which I thought was still pretty good um, but yeah you can definitely see the contrast in that and in the article there's a link to find out how to get involved in your fire department locally or if you happen to be in that area to join Morgan and her father Gary helping the people of Pennsylvania very nice cool story huh I love it the entire family had a life's calling that is incredible so awesome really neat really neat i know um speaking of a calling this was a calling to a boy who was taking a walk in his neighborhood with his dog and here's what happened though because first we're going to start out with a gentleman named chris rose and chris rose was out of town and like a lot of us do when we're out of town he was checking his ring app on his phone to make sure everything was oh, good yeah. and in the corner of his ring app you can usually see his american flag waving in the wind well he had noticed that the flag was gone and that there had been high winds in the area so he knew that it was blown down and then he sees something else. He sees this 13-year-old unidentified still boy walking Aww. his dog by the house. And he picks up the flag, folds the flag, and puts it back. But here's what's cool about the story, I thought, was that he rang the doorbell, he left, and then he came back and put this note on it that says, I'm a 13-year-old boy. I got your flag on the ground and folded it. I'm sorry for ringing your doorbell, which I thought was nice because you never know if there's a baby sleeping inside. I mean. But I thought it was cute that also he came, <laughs> he came back to leave that little note. Uh, and, and Chris, when he found it, he said, you know, at first I just thought, oh, that's so nice. He put the flag back, but that also there was a note there. And he posted on social media and, of course, it's went uh, kind of viral because everybody's commenting on it and commemorating that young man for putting the flag back and a uh, very just a sweet story of a neighborly thing. <laughs> exactly. And you know what? Listen, we, we report sometimes, unfortunately, or 11 Alive News does about things that we're seeing on the Ring app that aren't good. So what a beautiful thing to see either a delivery person doing a little dance or spreading their love, or in this case, uh, like you said, a neighbor helping out and protecting our flag from the elements. So love yeah. that. And you have time for one more. Very sweet. Okay, I don't know if you've seen this picture, Christine, but let's put up the picture of 12-year-old Mike Wimmer. If you don't know who he is, now you do, because Mike really made use of his uh, pandemic time, if you will, and has just graduated uh, from high school and with an associate's degree because he really got to learning, folks. And that's what he did. What? Two degrees, age of 12. Yeah, it's <gasps> to say impressive is not giving what? it enough shine. But yeah, he's off to bigger and better things. I think we'll be hearing from Mike Wimmer a lot in our future. Congratulations, Mike, 12 years old and doing really the most. Good for you. Good to your parents too. Absolutely incredible. And once again, Kara, while I do love these It's All Good stories, they do make me feel a tad bit like an underachiever because all I perfected was my <laughs> Chrissy Teigen too. banana bread during quarantine. I didn't get any extra degrees. It was good too. Or I didn't really take up a hobby. But baking is a hobby. Thank you, Kara. I love you. Guys, if you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, please, as I like to say sometimes when I'm tongue-tied, share -a with Kara. That's right. It's Facebook.com slash ATL Co. Or tweet us using that hashtag, It's All Good. I'm actually, I think there's like a, a blog or something in that, Kara. Share it with Kara. Yes, let's do it. Podcast.